Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Horn and Hoof Records podcast. Today I've got some special guests. That's Capitans. Great! Thanks for joining us, chaps. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think of uh, the Blossoms? Uh, this is great. Yeah, it brings me back to uh, gigs from olden days when we were 16, 17. It's all in dirty places like this. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're just saying we, we not don't. That this is a dirty place. place. <laughs> <laughs> we're right. just saying not we, 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 don't, we don't have places like this anymore. <laughs> Down where we're from, they've all gone now. It's all we're proper venues. Yeah, with the uh, spoons uh, and yeah, yeah, a clean floor it? venue. Yeah, this is, this is great. All cool. they do is play cover bands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Number of time I see people in um, band sort of Facebook groups. What do you think of uh, cover bands? I'll be killing a live scene. So guys, our cover bands killing a live scene. Uh, they, they have their plays, don't they? I suppose, but it's um, we were uh, we were in in uh, Cannock, weren't we, last weekend? And every single poster there was for a tribute. It wasn't just covers bands, general uh, tribute. Tribute, the killers, with, the killers with a Z and ACDP <laughs> and stuff like that. I mean, covers bands. <laughs> that's different than a tribute band, isn't it? I think, like, mm. at least you know, there's a bit of variety. But when, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they've got their, like, covers band for weddings and stuff like that. You can't really yeah. say too much about it. Anyway. No, I, I, I play in a cheesy wedding, wedding covers band. <laughs> ka-ching, ka-ching! <laughs> but that doesn't take away from, I justify because that doesn't, they wouldn't be hiring an originals band for their no, wedding. Exactly. So, no. Uh, but no, these, these tribute bands are odd, aren't they? Well, it's, I think it's the issue with tribute bands, it's venues that pay them and pay them more than yeah. original bands yeah. that will put them on over their originals bands. That's, yeah. That's my gripe. Yeah. That's, the thing is, it's like, because there's so many venues that all they'll play is cover bands to get the punters in. Yeah. And they spend so much money on it, and you just think, well, if they, like, every couple of months they just did one night where they put on original bands, we don't want paying, we don't really care, we just like playing. Yeah. yeah. And it'd be so cheap for them, they might not get as many punters, but... Yeah. It's trying to help out, isn't it? More mm-hmm. more venues that do that sort of thing. I, I saw one poster good. the other day was like a Kings of Leon tribute band. Oh my god! And they had um, they actually used an actual picture of Kings of Leon on the poster. <laughs> 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 In case you weren't sure, he turned up like a yeah. you know, like Kings of Leon. Anyway, that's my important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are Das Capitans and where are you from? We are we are literally Simon. Lewis and Steve, literally, quite literally. Um, we're from kind of in between Norfolk and Cambridgeshire. We we surf the border of the two. Um, so yeah, we've always been lived from that area, haven't we? Have we? Have we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've always been yeah. from down there. So um, yeah, we we just got in Norfolk because it's easier to say than Cambridgeshire. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> a bit shorter. Yeah. 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 Although, yeah, spending. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so. We're probably going to throw in uh, a couple of live song videos uh, from, from tonight's set. Okay. Uh, what any, any sort of uh, favourites you guys like to play live, or hey, what can we expect? Well, we've got. Um, That's give us the whole set list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll start off with no. We've got. Uh, we start off the set with a uh, a brand new track that's not been um, released yet. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, exciting, an exclusive. Called, yeah, called Big yeah. Love. So I don't think I said the last gig on stage with 150 songs, 156 songs last year. And we're going to start off with one that we wrote about three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's just typical of us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, we've what have we, we've we've got about 20 songs together, haven't we? Some 15, 20 songs, and for yeah, each gig we do, we just yeah. we just pick the amount of songs for the, the set and see how many we can squeeze in. So we're uh, going to try and squeeze in about 10 or 11 into half an hour tonight. The most mm. we've, we've we've kind of picked the most energetic. Catchier ones yeah. that we can do, and uh, yeah, and normally it's normally pretty good fun, isn't it? They're going well. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've done six or seven gigs so far, but mm. uh, yeah, they're going really well. Six or seven gigs total? Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Capitan's only started the start of last year, didn't it? Yeah. And then there was lockdown, so first gig was later in the year. So, no, in the life of Das Capitan's, it's still very young. Yeah. So, Fuzzle Phelps, was that all of you, or was that you too? Or? It was all of us, plus Lloyd. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Lloyd was going to be in Das Capitan's for a while, and he's yeah. got too many commitments. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah. kind of didn't want to. We go at such a stupid pace. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, if, you're, if you're not into yeah. that stupid pace, then mm-hmm. it's not yeah. enjoyable, I suppose. Well, this is it. I mean, what did you release? 20 EPs last year, or was it more than that? 12 albums, two EPs, I think, wasn't it? Three or four one-off singles. A, a, uh, another album, which was a collection of oddities and stuff yeah. like that. And then we did a best-of album as well. <laughs> Best of the first year, 29 songs. So, so just for sale tonight. Are you prolific, or you know, does any old shit that comes into your head that you start around and playing, or are you quite sort of discerning with what you? Well, right. well, I guess we're lucky that the any old shit turns out to be all right. <laughs> yeah, between us all, it kind of does work out all right because uh, we <laughs> some of it is literally old, some old shit. Oh, yeah, no one's ever heard that. Yeah. Big fat poo. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what keeps you going then, like songwriting wise? How do you manage to write so much stuff in such a short period of time? I get it all recorded. Isn't I it? think, to a degree, because we kind of made this stupid pact that we were going to write an album every month. Mm-hmm. But we're both stubborn, and um, and I think we're both kind of competitive against each mm-hmm. other to a degree. Mm-hmm. To write like, a song. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> so. I mean, if he's written three or four songs in a row, I'm thinking, oh, well, I need to be the right load, and then okay. and it goes like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you know it, you've got 10 songs, and then that's it. I mean, a lot of the albums were 15, 16 songs, weren't they? To start off with, they were, weren't they? By the end of the year, they were, well, one of the albums were 10 minutes long, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, so in the past 12 months, you've written a lot of songs. Yeah. How many of those have you forgotten? <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all except <laughs> 15 to 20. <laughs> because of how we did it as well, um, when, it came to, when it came to doing it live, and if we had to kind of try and learn those songs again, yeah. simply because how we would write it, it would be, the songs would be written within two hours, wouldn't they, and recorded mm-hmm. and uh, uploaded to wherever they were going to be uploaded within two hours, probably, most of them. And so, okay. yeah, so, so we weren't, kind of, they weren't sticking in our heads at all, yeah. and then we had to kind of go through a load of the songs and figure out which ones to sound really like. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty we've forgotten. We keep keep listening back to certain albums or whatever, and think, God, I forgot about that song, that's good. We do keep coming up with ones that we should start learning again, but then we also want to start doing new stuff as well. Don't we? I think that took a couple of weeks, didn't it, to actually decide which songs to actually play yeah, live. Yeah. I think that's probably the longest that yeah. we've taken on yeah. any one th- yeah. when any one thing. Yeah. So writing the, writing the songs dead short, deciding what songs to play, quite a long process. Yeah, yeah, but then it's getting the balance yeah. because you want it, when you play a live set, you want it to be really tight yeah. and to go down really well. So you can't be chopping and changing songs at the time if you want to have a tight set. So this is why we've got these kind of 15 songs, and um, although we've only done six or seven gigs, we're trying to be fairly strict with playing the same ones for the time being because even if we get a bit bored I guess we're playing to different audiences aren't we? Yeah, so yeah, so. But no, the tide to it is the more we can have fun on stage and, and just <laughs> yeah. jump around yeah. do stupid things. Run around a little bit to cover up a little sloppiness. <laughs> <laughs> get away with it, don't we? <laughs> so do you rec- record yourself, obviously? Is, so is, is it literally a case of writing a song, recording it while you're still rehearsing it and then uploading it or is there a, a bit more to it it's that? changing isn't it it's, it's changing yeah. yeah it's changing last year it's just me and Steve doing it Lewis wasn't involved in the, in, the, in the recording process or writing process so we would just set up our uh, computers at home in separate houses and literally sit at the computer logic drums um, program, program the drums put guitar on put singing on send it over to, to so you use Mac yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mac, Lo- logic drums are amazing isn't well, yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. adapts to what you're you playing yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we're both fully I'm into the Apple system yeah, so yeah, yeah. That worked well, but this year it's changed a little bit. So we we write an idea and, and a song an idea. Well, it's starting now. Steve's writing the initial idea. It comes to me for the structure and to add bits to it. Send it to Lewis without any drums on, because if you, you get any drums in your head, that's it. You're stuck with Max. <laughs> yeah. Then he's stuck with Max, the logic drummer. If he, <laughs> and he doesn't want to hear Max. So we send it over there. And he drums in his garage. He adds drums to it, and then it comes back to us to put the final guitar on it and the vocals properly. So, well, for for recording, I mean. 
I know like music technology, recording technology has come on a lot in the last I don't know how long you guys have been playing with the last 15 years yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it sounds incredible for you know, if we're calling it at home like in your, in your, in your garage yeah, yeah, in your bedroom it's a minimal effort I mean we're not experts in it at all you know more than I do I, I don't really have a clue about it I can recall songs in an album without having much of a clue about it that's how yeah, easy it is to do minimal effort and minimal investment as well really yeah, isn't it we haven't spent yeah. loads of money on yeah, recording exactly. games I mean if you had to pay for it rehearsal that's right studio time to record everything you record oh, ski, yeah. Yeah. more skin <laughs> tens of thousands if we'd have gone in the studio to do yeah. tens yeah. of six songs and now what we have done with um, any with the sales and whatnot that we have sold with the money that we've made from that we've kind of started getting equipment for mm. um, the studio ourselves so we're now like I said we're, we're recording proper drums now and this it's, it's making a huge difference it's um, it, it just yeah. it fills it out so much nicer doesn't it yeah. but yeah, we bought you some fine pads that stink of fish don't we yeah, yeah. yeah. nice things like that was made the money on fishy fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good fun yeah. it's good fun so you touched on uh, that you have to obviously pick 15 songs and you go back and listen through all your old recordings. Mm. Have you, each of you got a favourite EP or album? Or is it that? Is it, it is so much it's hard? You can't remember half the No, we have cheese. Got, we've got favourite albums, haven't we? And they yeah. tend to be the same ones. It's the same yeah. one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, all, um, we're all kind of into Man on Fire, which was the August. August. Cool. Written, in, written in July, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it was really hot and uh, we're all. <laughs> it was nice outside, but really hot. We were yeah. all pissed off for some reason. Yeah, because <laughs> we had to we had to spend hours and hours in July trapped in our mine's an upstairs bedroom and yours yeah. is a little room upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Really hot rooms, like getting really hot yeah. and sweaty at a mat. Everyone is PCs outside. Blowing loads of heat out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're just <laughs> sweating our asses off writing this album, and it came across as a really angry album because it was so. Oh, hot. It's so fucking sunny and nice yeah. outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the lines in the song is it's so fucking hot in here <laughs> that's one of the lines in one of the songs I think for me that one goes back to my kind of angry um, punk rock roots and the stuff I was listening to when I was young when, um, when I was actually irritated about things <laughs> like more important things yeah, I suppose. Yeah. but it's um, yeah it's uh, so that's why I like that one it's the first one that was proper structured like a complete album if you like every song flowed into it's the other thematic song. isn't it it's, yes I think yeah. it's the most mature of all the albums so, as yeah. well mm. did you get to play drums on that one as well when recording no from Max I think <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Max yeah, Max, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was mainly Max I think yeah. 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 there's one of the songs I did on that one I just decided which was that bad haircut now I think was it was a bad haircut mm-hmm. I just decided uh, I'm going to put a drum beat down and then just press record and play something and see what happens I was just playing a load of notes on there and that ended up being the song. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you guys, obviously you've got your Das Kapital, you've got Das Kapi podcast, or... Das Kapi podcast, Das Kapi podcast. Sorry guys, yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got lots of other Das Kapi things, haven't you? Or yeah. is it just those two? As many things as we can fit into, into that word, yeah. Obviously we're, we're going to try and do Das Kapi Fest. Oh, cool. um, that's good one. Yeah. So that Das Kapi chat, we we put that on hold a little bit towards the end because we were kind of it's too much, isn't it? It's too much. And the idea was we could start that up again this year and get loads of people on there. We're gonna, I'm gonna try and uh, work on Duncan from stuff so we can get him on there yes. at some point. That'd be good. Try and worm my way into that. And see what <laughs> we do. So aside from uh, trying to get bigger and better guests, or. Yeah. That's got to be a chat because yeah, I mean, that's yeah, really we did, yeah. It's got to be simple from that. <laughs> no, <laughs> what, what, what else have you got planned for this year? Well, we're, we're going a bit slower, aren't we, this year? A little bit slower at the minute. I said we're going slower. We, I looked this morning, I think we've done six songs so far, and it's only third week of January. Yeah. We were trying to go slower. Um, so, no, it, it's going to be, we're thinking it's going to be more like two, we're hoping for two really good albums this year rather than 12 or I ones. Like, we're going to really push to get 12, two quality albums and there'll be singles throughout the year and videos more of the podcast more of the desk after chat more time spent on videos um, just a bit more time spent on mm. similar to what we did last year but a bit more time spent on it and for three quarters of last year we weren't gigging but now we're getting more and more gigs coming um, and to, to come as many places like this as we can cool um, I think the problem we had last year doing all those albums is we um, we came across as a bit of a novelty kind of mm. gimmick right. kind of thing and we want to 
get rid of that because we're not. I mean, we just just happen to be have, have enough time to be able to mm. do something like that. Mm. And um, we want to uh, do a couple of properly good albums this year that kind of show that we're not. Yeah. No, we are serious about it. Aren't we? well, we yeah, we are totally we, serious. We've always done music our lives, and it feels like okay, now's the time to 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 learn from the past and what we've done in the past, and really try and push on with this. And we've got it, and we know we're not going to make any money out of it or, or, or go any amazing places with it. But you don't lose too much money. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but just, just to get some, yeah, some more places like this and meet some more people like yourself, and, and that's just yeah, just be really open-minded about it. And, bring people together as much as we can really. That's been probably the best part of it is all the people we've got to know. From yeah. 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 That's one of my favourite things yeah. about that. Yeah. Music yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. great it's cool friends. Yeah. Without that I wouldn't meet anyone because I'm generally I'm not overly sociable. <laughs> <laughs> put, me in, put me in this situation where we're going to talk about music and share ideas and things like that and then I kind of I guess I come alive a little bit yeah. with that side of it so that's great. great. Cool. Well, I think uh, that's probably all I need from you guys at the moment now. Thanks for uh, having a chat with me today. Thanks for driving all the way up here to Sunny mm-hmm. Stock Talk. Thank you for inviting me. Looking mm-hmm. forward to your set. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Cool. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.